Alright people, so yeah, Greater U-Bell is off. I'm gonna go ahead and do the Dark Profile, and then you'll of course get your Cosmic U-Bell, and then Super Lights will be on Fridays. Well, until the changes after I come back from my break, but anyway, uh, yeah, I just kinda got bored of this deck. I wanted to, I only was really interested in because it was a Synchro deck, I mean, you know, the fact that these monsters are Smash Steals doesn't even come close to, you know, tantalizing me. But, uh, you know, I was like, oh, well, they synchro, so yeah, let me go ahead and, you know, run a synchro deck with you, Bell. You know, generally I like to do that. I go into, you know, a scrap dragon or something and have a tear on the field. This throwing things that incentivized me, but uh, it just got kind of boring. And it's probably a little bit my fault, but anyway, I'm going to go ahead and do the deck profile, get my opinions about the various things that I did. And, uh, yeah. So, starting off with, uh, I apologize for the videos being off and late today and just kind of busy with things, you know. And uh, real life is being busy, but I will be sure to get you guys all your videos, your additional Vime and Y with Cosmic U Bell, and also your live video. I'll be sure to get it up to you today. But anyway, let's just go ahead and do this one real quick while there's not too much noise in my house. So, starting it off, you know, we got my usual. Uh, generally, I just go ahead and go with the Armageddon Knights and the Dark Refers in comparison to how much I want to send and uh, how much room that I have. So I had a couple of extra rooms, so I was like, you know what, screw it, we can go ahead and make sure we get that Armageddon Knight for the opening play, that's not too terrible. I uh, probably could have lessened him down, but I'm just, you know, that's just one of the combinations I do with the Armageddon Knights, the one Dark Refer, because there's not a lot of darks in here, so I don't want to, you know, have Dark Refer and clog him. But, you know, if I need to, I'll go ahead and summon the Dark Ref for Pitching Arm again tonight, because at least I have a 17 beater instead of just a 14. So that's better than the one where I try to exploit the number generator. Uh, we run the Debris Dragon, because Debris Dragon has synergy with uh, Alligator here. It's actually one of the things. It also has synergy with Ubell, of course. So I'm summoning Ubell in attack mode. It's tech negated, so when you kill me by battle, or when I kill myself by battle, uh, I get terror. But, yeah, you can go to Debris Dragon and summon back your Alligator from the graveyard, and you can either, like, Moonlight or... Or Black Rose or something along those lines. So, not to have a play. You know, if I, if I was just playing just Gradles, I would definitely play Debris Dragon in there, just for Alligator. Uh, next, Cobra. Cobra's probably my favorite one, just because there's a lot of traps in here. So, when it's destroyed by uh, Battle or by Trap. Oh, this is when it's destroyed by Battle or by Spell. I forgot to talk about it. I talked about fucking Debris, and then I talked about Alligator, but I didn't talk about Alligator. My bad. Alligator. Uh, 500 attack works well with Debris Dragon when it's destroyed by battle, they all just drive out, or by spell, so obviously your impact, which you should definitely be running three of, impact's like, really great, uh, you can go ahead and just go, alright, summon alligator, impact, pop my alligator, pop one of your cards, alligator, give me your monster, you know, so, that's good, they don't miss timing, you know, if this monster is destroyed, so, they don't miss timing, and that's actually pretty good, makes them actually really useful, <coughs> so, yeah. Cobra probably one of my favorite just because you can see a lot of trap cards here. So uh, that's the reason, one of the reasons why I ran Magical Planter because, you know, there's a handful of continuous traps and the reverse and the oasis and the calls and the parasite. So if I can go ahead and just kind of just Magical Planter, get rid of one of them, draw. Like I said, they don't miss timing. So if I go Limit Reverse, Summon Cobra, then Magical Planter, destroy the Limit Reverse, draw two, Limit Reverse, destroy the Cobra, Cobra Effect, take your monster. So that's not a bad play. Uh, Next, Eagle. It's probably my least favorite one, <laughs> to tell you the truth. Uh, I get bottomless of this one. This is when it's, when it's destroyed by monster effects. It's kind of eh. It doesn't happen very often that a monster uh, will just use its effect to destroy this card. So, like I guess that's probably my least favorite one. The only reason why I ran three. I was actually thinking about running two at one point, but I ran in three because there's not a lot of greater monsters. So I was trying to keep the consistency up as high as possible. You know, impact helps with the consistency, parasite helps with the consistency. So. Uh, that's pretty much the plan, which is to try to keep the consistency up when it comes to this deck. Uh, you know, the deck is slow. The deck is slow, and it's probably one of the main reasons why I didn't want to play it, is where, uh, I mean, sure, yeah, your monsters are like Snatch Deals, that's cool, but they're really slow, and, you know, if you do against a fast deck that can outpace the amount of monsters that you can take, then you're, you're gonna lose, you're gonna lose, and it doesn't have a really good comeback game either, you know. Even, you might have to risk, you know, taking these weak monsters and crashing into your opponent's monster to take them, and... Yeah, you know, I was just not a big fan of that. So, Evil, I ran for consistency's sake. I only ran one slime, and the reason why is because I was worried about clogging, but, you know, if I wanted to get more synchro involved, I probably should have ran more slime. Um, if it was dark, then, yeah, maybe we could talk, but, you know, it's just kind of difficult to send to the graveyard, which kind of made me sad. I should probably be running Foolish. I have no idea why there's not a Foolish in here. That's dumb. That's really dumb. I must have just forgot about Foolish. What the fuck? You know? 
a foolish for Geki, so I could have I could probably done this deck a lot better, but I kind of just made it, and I never really made any changes to it after that. So, yeah, I probably should have ran more of him. I went to your hand your graveyard, and you have, you can target two of your Gradle cards, you control, destroy them, special summon, and then you'll go ahead and summon a Gradle monster. It's the tuner. Oh no, the level 5 monster is the tuner? What? Yeah. You summon slime by popping two, then slime will go ahead and summon a Gradle, and then bam, you got your sink 8. So, uh, sometimes I saw him, sometimes I didn't, but I didn't want to clog him. I don't know, maybe you're on two, or three things cloggy, especially for how many Gradle cards there actually are to actually get this effect. But I uh, probably could have ran like two. Yeah, I said I, I could probably done this deck better, but the gist of it is what made me sad. You know, I could if I was still into the deck, I probably could have fixed it, tweaked it, made it better, and came back with it. But I just it's boring. You know, it's slow. It's boring, and I, I wasn't doing what I wanted to do. And you know, no amount of slime really will be able to do that because in the end of the day, it's still just a great old taking shit. So, and of course, I want to reach your belt. Uh, Great old pack, great card, you definitely run three. First effect, good, target a great old card you control, and a card your opponent controls, destroy them both. Scrap dragon effect, great. And during the end phase, you can activate the first effect, you can go ahead and search for a great old card, that's great too. So, uh, great old pack, definitely run three. Uh, like I said, number generator. I uh, probably don't need to run three, but uh, you know, I was kind of happy with it, so I kind of upped it to three just because I wanted to see it more often do the play. Uh, I said if there was more Cobra a little bit action or a couple more Gradles, um, then maybe you could try to use this more. But meh. Uh, split is okay. It's a it's a good card. It's a good card. It helps with the synchro plays, and I definitely recommend it if you want to do synchro plays. You have to rate it by target monster you control. It gains 500 attack. It's not bad. Go ahead and play during the damage step to you know fuck up your opponent. If you're doing main phase. This card is equipped to a monster by its own effect. You can send. This card to a graveyard and destroy the equipped monster. And if you do special summon two great also with monsters with different names, so you know it's easily. I might go ahead and summon Armageddon Knight, send you bell, set this, play this. You know Armageddon Knight goes to 19 beater and then destroy this and destroy that to summon you know you and you and sink into eight. So like I said, I, I like this card. You know, if I was playing Gradles, especially with how inconsistent Gradles are, I would definitely run three, and that's why I did. Uh, let me reverse you bell. Sometimes alligator, sometimes cobra, but it sucks. I'm in attack mode, so I'm gonna be taking that damage. Oasis, yeah, Oasis is good. Uh, Call is good, and parasite. Like I said, with this, 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 and the amount of great monsters, it, you, know, you pretty much have to run. Like the only one you really don't have to run max of is probably slime. You could probably run two, but I think every other great old card that you can run in my deck, you, you run the maximum copies because the deck has consistency issues and you really can't pop the place. Uh, like I said, foolish. I don't know why I'm not running it. That was dumb. Foolish, you know, uh, Dark Holes could probably work two-ish, you know, uh, you're kind of slow, so, you know, throwing Dark Hole in your Geki is fine. Uh, Pot, because you really don't touch something in your turn, so Pot will do all of you, might be pretty good, it just, you know, it sucks that you're revealing uh, what monster, you're, or what card you're going to get, so, like usual, but the deck is kind of slow, so Pot's not bad. Uh, but yeah, Parasite. Uh, pretty much when your opponent declares a direct attack, you can summon a greater monster from your deck. And type it. I mean, that, that's gone. You know, you're summoning one of your monsters from your deck. That's my bad. I've never really used a second effect where when a greater monster attacks my opponent, then I can go ahead and target one of the monsters in your graveyard, summon it to their side of the field, then you, of course, crash into their monster and take it, then cra and then attack them with their own monster. Really never done that effect, but this this one, this effect, it's fine uh, for consistency sake. It's another continuous trap, so get more use out of Magical Planter. Uh, two Great Old Dragons. Great Old Dragons probably the main monster you're going to go into. Uh, when a Synchro Summon, you can target cards. Your opponent controls up to number one water monsters you sync. Generally two. So pop two cards when a Synchro Summon. It's not bad. And when it's destroyed by Battle of a Card Fag, you get to go ahead and target another water monster in your graveyard. One of the Great Olds and summon it. And uh, of course, they resolve in the graveyard. They're fixing to get it, but they resolve in the graveyard. So, you know, I'll be like, oh, you killed my dragon. All right, I'm going to summon one of my Gradles, and you kill that Gradle. Gradle's resolve in the graveyard, so I'll take your monster now. So, yeah. So, it's like a weird uh, Manticore Chimera esque monster. I don't even know what this is. What, what, what is this monster? It's, oh, I mean, I know. It's, this is a dragon. Like, oh, no, no, no. It's like a combination of things, like a, a snake and a. I don't know, like a Manticore Cobra, one of them things. I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't know. One of them legendary cre mythical creatures. But yeah, so you can see the alligator head and the cobra snake and the eagle's wings and the slime body. Yeah, slime body. He gets a little bit skinnier. He like he like loses this pot belly or I don't even know. This belly's up here. I don't even know what this is. This is like his pelvis. He's like 
hella fat <laughs> in his pelvis area. He's got that badonka dunk, and then he kind of like thins out. <laughs> so yeah, this is probably the synchro monster you'll go into the most when you sync with this deck. Hot red, good, void ogre. I don't even know why I put this in here. I think I put that in there because I was like, I don't know, I don't know what else to put. I, I can't even go into void ogre. That's dumb. See, I didn't really try out this deck. I really did not. And uh, if I would actually took more time, I like made it and I was like, oh, well, it's not terrible and I just kind of stuck with it and I didn't fix anything so that's bad I can't even make that uh, scrap yeah <coughs> come to player yeah spark sure like I said you, with this you can go ahead and go into these three so that's not terrible and I really don't XC that much with this deck but they're nice to have them so cast out at the time and roll if you can to go ahead and put your monsters back put your gradles back to use again the mains because you know they're like three so if I need to and uh, Nightmare Shock to attack for game dir directly. As I said, I could have worked on this deck a lot better, but instead of actually, you know, working on it, I decided, you know what, I'm bored of this deck, and I really am. I'm, I'm bored of it. So, uh, gonna be moving on to bigger and better things. Of course, we're gonna be moving uh, Cosmic Duo back over to Thursday and have Supervise back on Friday, like we usually have, like we used to have. And hopefully, we can do something with Supervise. I mean, the struggle's still real, but maybe we'll figure something out. And that's as long as, you know, we decide to go up with what we're currently doing. For all I know, you know, by the time I come back from my break, we might have decided, you know what, screw it, we're just doing a lot of live streams, in which case, whatever day, whatever deck is on, doesn't matter, because I'll probably just take one day out of the week to just do a live stream. You know, just your weekly vitamin Y instead of just vitamin Y every day, and I can go ahead and uh, talk to you guys, and uh, do with you guys, and you guys can help me work on your build decks, etc, etc. So anyway, I hope that you guys enjoyed this deck profile. Like I said, Gradles are okay, but they're just kind of slow. Uh, the thing that I wanted to use them for, I really wasn't pulling off too often, and that just made me just fall out of love with them. I mean, you yeah, yeah, Snatch or your monster, but it just it wasn't fun, you know? I, I think Snatch is a sacky-ass card, so what do I think a deck that's composed of Snatch Shows to be a fun deck? Anyway, like I said, this deck could be a lot better, so there's no need to make suggestions because I'm not changing anything because I don't care. I, I, I can just go ahead and hit click the delete button right now because I'm done. But anyway, uh, thanks for watching. Thanks for the support. Uh, taking a break soon. So anyway, I'll get you guys your vitamin wipes soon, your uh, Cosmic Key Bell, and yeah. Anyway, thanks for watching.